Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be day five, I think, of our classroom setup vlog. Today I am really focusing on doing some of the decorating. So my mom's not gonna be able to come in for the rest of the time until school starts, she's out of town. So um, it's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought, which is okay. So I'm gonna start doing some decorating things today. It is Saturday morning. No, I do not care because, uh, I don't know, it's been Saturday morning for the last eight weeks. So I don't mind that I'm here on a Saturday. My husband has to work anyway, so. I'm gonna have a few hours to get some work done today. So I'm gonna take you along for the journey. I really quickly just wanted to say, I read every single comment that you guys leave below and thank you so much for your kind words. I'm happy that I can inspire you in some way and you guys are just so sweet. So thank you so much for all of your kind words and thoughts. And a lot of you are first year teachers, so congratulations, stick with it, you're gonna do fine. Before we keep going, I just wanted to say, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram too because I do um, a lot of posting about my classroom and things on Instagram as well. I just started storing more, so hopefully I can stick with that. Um, so just make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's the same handle, at Early Adventures. That way we can just connect uh, a little bit more. So if you want to see my classroom setup continue, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so these are the things I want to get done today. So my wow work sign, I finally made a uh, title for that board. I think I've been saying that since like day one. I finally made it. Um, I want to get my classroom jobs posted. I created um, some classroom jobs like cards and I'll show you what those look like in a second. I want to put up my clock numbers. Uh, I would love to get two bulletin boards up, at least the titles and the backing. I have a um, Mrs. Coat sign that I want to hang and I need to hang my headphones. So that's my list of things I want to finish today. And then I just have everything laid out here on my floor so I can get a better, uh, better idea. So my wow work sign, I did a different oops, shades of green. And for this one, since, let me hold it up off the carpet, there is a black border. I just printed these on this color cardstock and cut them because I can't figure out how to do the offset cutting with my Cricut, so whatever. So those are gonna go up here. Um, this Mrs. Coates sign, I am going to hang right here and then my classroom job board's gonna be back there. I'm gonna put my classroom jobs behind my desk because I felt like last year it was so far away from me and I always be like, wait, Who's my door person? Like, so hopefully having it behind my desk will eliminate that. Um, so we'll see. Um, speaking of classroom jobs, I just made these on PowerPoint. There we go. So it's just a blue and green water color background and then the job and I'm just gonna like stick a pop school stick or something in the top of it so I know who is what. I haven't put these on Teachers Pay Teachers but if you want me to, I totally can. So if you uh, want them, let me know. And then this is gonna be for my focus wall. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but I did um, print it, laminate it, and cut it out. My ELA rotations board for centers is gonna go over here, because that's where I'm gonna be doing my small group, so that'll be easy for me to access. And then a wonder wall is something that we have to have for um, IB, and I didn't use mine a lot last year because it was too big, so I'm gonna do a small one over here. I think maybe my focus wall will be over here, or vice versa, um, but we'll see. I was thinking about doing it here as well so I could post my learning targets, but we will see. So all of these little flags, so this one and all these, came in the same like herb watercolor, watercolor bundle from Teachers Pay Teachers where I got my alphabet. So I'll be sure to link that bundle down below and then I just edited the, um, oh my God, I spelled my name wrong. I'm a dork. It's a new name, you know, I'm not used to it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, those came from the bundle. I'll be sure to link it down below so we have it set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys down and start getting some of this up. All right, so that's how it looks. Um, so far so good. I think I'm going to, I have little like tassels that I think I'm gonna hang right here. So they kind of look like the tassels from these. Oh, you can't see, from these guys. And I think I'll hang it underneath or in between those spaces. So one thing checked off the list.
I'm trying to decide if my classroom jobs, yeah, yeah, that'll fit. Okay, so that's what I'll do, maybe not next, but the classroom jobs is definitely on the list. So I can take this off the list. Okay, so I showed you in my last vlog that um, I'm gonna use this to store headphones, it's just a shoe holder, and I wanna put it here. I thought this uh, door was a uh, magnet, or I'm, I'm sorry, I thought this door was metal, but it's actually wood, so magnets won't work, so I got some command hooks, and I am hoping that that um, will do the trick. So I'm just gonna hang these right now. All right, so, so far the command hooks work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get like those little uh, circle dots and put stickers right here so the kids know which one's theirs. This is only 24 pouches and I should have 26 kids, so I will just find a place for them to store the other two. But I think this is gonna work a lot better than last year. So yay, one more thing off the list. Okay, so the bulletin boards are what, I've been, are what I've been dreading the most. And the reason is last year, I used that wood paper for the backing. And this year, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I have more of that, where is it? Ugh, that blue fadeless paper, but I think it's like too much. I have a white paper, which I think I'm gonna do, um, just like a white background on that wood, I think will really pop. And then I have a couple border options. I still have some green burlap or like a blue burlap. So I'm just going to do a little bit of brainstorming and try and make some decisions as far as what I want the aesthetics of the boards to be. Um, I also have a sheet, like a light blue sheet that I used last year. The only thing is that they get so wrinkled. So I don't know. I'm going to pull all that stuff out and try and make some decisions. So I'll let you know what I decide. Okay, I made a decision for my classroom jobs, which I'm going to put... Um, Oop, over here behind my desk. I think to tie in with the wood, I'm going to do um, that shiplap backing right here. And then I'm gonna have my uh, classroom jobs, all the jobs here, and then I'll put like a, probably a teal border around it. I have um, this one. Oop. Oh, you can't really see it. Ah! This one that I think will match the cards. So I'm gonna play around with um, dimensions and we'll see how it starts to look. These are the color of sheets that I have and I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not. If you're watching this, can you just like reach into the camera and tell me where I put my stapler? I cannot find it for the life of me. This is what I do in school too. I'll walk around with the paper, I'll put it down and then I can't find it. I'm literally gonna have to watch this footage back to figure out where the heck I put it. What's wrong with me? The room's not that big. I legitimately had to go back and watch the footage. Look where I put it. I was standing up here and I put it right here. I would have never found this. Thank God for vlogging, Jesus. <laughs> That board's there, and that's where I'm gonna have my classroom jobs. So I'm gonna put the classroom jobs up before I put make the title, cause I haven't made the title yet. Um, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's the finished product for now. I know it's driving me crazy too. I just had to think of one more job. But for now, that's the way it is. Please don't comment anything nasty like, ah, it's killing me because I'm living it and I promise it's killing me more. 
So now I know how much space I have for classroom jobs. I'm trying to figure out if black will blend in or if I should do blue or green. So I'm gonna play with that right now and I'll let you know what I decide. Okay, so I figured I'm gonna do my classroom jobs title in this green paper and some of you wanna know how this fancy little Cricut thing works, so I'm gonna show you. It's super easy. With the Cricut comes this design software. Again, sorry, it's gonna make weird lines because I'm filming a screen, but um, in the design space, you just choose the font, how big you want it. And so I have these letters. I'm gonna do one page that says class, room, and then jobs just because it won't fit on one paper. You click make it and then you can arrange the letters so they fit on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So that will fit, change it to eight and a half by 11. Boom, there you go, continue. And then all you do is it connects via Bluetooth. I should probably turn it on. Woo! Um, you insert your mat. Okay, I had to insert it without um, holding the camera. So basically you just push this button to insert it. Sorry, someone walked in or knocked on my door. So basically after it's set, you just hit the cut. Boop. And then it goes to town. So the letters are all cut out and then all you do is just peel off the extra. Boop, there you go. And it saves you so much time. These are pretty expensive. I was gifted this for Christmas last year. Um, so cutting by hand is just as good. Um, some of you just asked to see this, so there you go. Okay, so there's the title that I just cut with my Cricut. So this job, or this job, this board is done obviously besides that little guy. But I really like the way it turned out. I think this area looks really cute. I also wanna show you, I was in here the other day and I didn't film, I didn't really do much but um, file. And I did uh, use these for all of my like supplemental stuff for my math units. So I just divided them up by subject. So like for example, my fractions bin has like posters, um, hands-on games and things like that. For me personally, like a traditional filing cabinet just does not work for my head. I have to be able to like open everything out and like see it in front of me. So I'm gonna try that this year and hopefully that works a little bit better. So I just wanted to show you that because that's something I did a, a different day and didn't film it, so. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is hang up these clock numbers. Um, I just made these on PowerPoint, put them on green card stock, laminated them and cut them and I'm gonna hang them around my clock. I think I made them a little too big. So we're gonna see, hopefully not. That was super easy and they're actually not too small or too big at all they're perfect so that is what that looks like I'm telling you you can make these on PowerPoint in like two seconds just make a circle fill it in so yay one more thing off the list okay so I have about half an hour before I have to leave and as much as I don't want to tackle another bulletin board I think I'm gonna just do my <laughs> rotation board I'll feel better when it gets done I think I'm gonna do it in a white background I think that'll pop on the wood I'm gonna put it right here so I'm gonna start measuring and cutting and figuring out that I don't know if I'm gonna do the border today um, but we'll see Okay, this is the kind of stuff that's super hard to do without another person. Okay, I understand it's not straight, but I'm gonna do this burlap border here, except I have the burlap in blue. So I think I'm gonna do that for this one, and I'm gonna bring it down so it lines up with the whiteboard. So I'm gonna keep plugging along. I have about 25 minutes, so hopefully I can get this one done. Okay, so that's the final bordering for that one. And now I'm just going to put this title up there and then I'm done for the day because I gotta be out of here in 10 minutes. All right, so that's it for that bulletin board that I'm gonna do. I do wanna like fill in these gaps with some sort of, I don't know, decoration. And then I'm gonna make an ELA rotations chart 
eventually that's gonna go here. I actually really like the white at first. Next to the whiteboard, I wasn't a fan, but I think it really pops. So that's done. That wall over there is almost done. So overall, I feel like I was pretty successful. Okay, so like I said, I feel like I was pretty successful today. I got some decorating things done that I wanted to. So I actually have to get out of here because I'm going to meet a fellow teacher YouTuber. Uh, Megan from Too Cool for Middle School is also from California and she is driving through my hometown and we decided that we were going to meet up. Um, you know, we talk on line and stuff, so it's always fun to meet these people in person when you get the opportunity. So I'm going to jet out of here and I'm going to go meet her and then enjoy the rest of my weekend. So please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you would like to continue on my journey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!